question in but mind. But let's really look at them. Okay. Let's look at the fact that the medication that they have to take has not been tested for long-term use. Mm -hmm. I can't go to the doctor once a year like everybody else. Mm -hmm. I go way more than I want to be there. But yes, with, people can wi live with it. Yeah. But it's a, it's not simple like everybody says. Like you look up online and you know, oh, it's you got medicine. Who wants to take medicine twice a day for the rest of their life? Yes, and I think this is really good that you're saying this because I think that the feeling in the public from people who don't have it or haven't, don't have relatives or friends who have it, is that you just take your little cocktail, you take your antiretrovirals. You that take... stuff is wicked. Yeah. It's wicked. And so how are you feeling and how are you doing? <sighs> right now you got me hot. <laughs> Pissed off. <laughs> this is good. Um, this is good. But I'm doing well. Mm -hmm. I'm doing, uh, you know, it's a, it's a new normal. Mm -hmm. um, I can't do nearly the things that I used to be able to do. I don't have the energy and the um, endurance that I used to have. Yeah. I'm on public assistance now, and mm -hmm. so I eat what I can afford. And, you know. Well, you know, I stand uh, corrected, and um, I honor the correction because I think that I and so many other people look at Magic Johnson as the poster child for survival. And I think that what you've said is absolutely spot on correct. And the fact that he has access to the best of everything does make a world of difference. And so I, I really appreciate you bringing that to our attention, really. So it's good you got hot. It's good you got hot. Don't make me hot. <laughs> really, stand corrected. Bridget and John separated and eventually divorced. She sued him for infecting her with HIV. And after a seven-year court battle, the judge awarded Bridget a staggering $12.5 million. Now, have you gotten any of that money? Obviously, you haven't if you have to. Well, I've spent um, money to try to collect that money. He filed bankruptcy um, this summer. So, no, I haven't gotten any money. So why does he not have to serve time for this? Um, because it, there's a difference between criminal um, proceedings and civil. Mine was a civil proceeding. Well, my producers asked John for an interview, of course, and he declined. We also asked for a statement. He said, no comment. Does that surprise you? No, it doesn't. It doesn't surprise me. But you've had some good news. I have had some surprising and good news, yes. Um, we're having a baby. So the we is um, me and my baby daddy. <laughs> and your baby daddy. So you got another boyfriend. Yes, he's an amazing man. And who uh, accepted that you had HIV? Yes, it wasn't a deal breaker for him. We're gonna have a, a little person, a little girl, actually. Gonna have a little girl. Yeah. And so was that uh, unprotected sex? Obviously. Yes, it was. Or in vitro. It was the old-fashioned way. Old-fashioned way. And. Um, but you were willing to take that risk. Yes. Are you, are you worried about the baby contracting HIV? Well, um, there is one protocol that is like the original AZT protocol that you're supposed to take when you're pregnant. It helps the baby to, uh, it gives the baby less than 1% of having, uh, getting the disease. So I really did not want my child to have this disease. It's horrible to have to live with. Um, so I'm taking that right now, but hopefully little girl won't have HIV, hopefully. Well, this is the first time you've spoken publicly. Why yeah. now? Women need to know. Women need to know. And this whole thing took away my life. Um, on a many levels, it took away my humanity. It took away everything that I had. And no woman should have to deal with that. No woman. Well, thank you so much for being oh, absolutely. here. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes, and getting hot enough to set me straight. We'll be right back. Uh. Thank you so much. It's great. <laughs>